Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and this is an episode that's part of the Play School uh, series that I've been doing. So one of the most common questions that I keep seeing on the, um, the IRC channel for jQuery is how do you test if an element exists? So this is really quite simple but there's no, there's no explicit function to do it in jQuery but the actual code for it is very straightforward. So I've marked together um, a quick page that has uh, my mug on it and it's just a page with uh, an image on it and no input element as you can see. So I'll just show you the markup for this. I've created this uh, this div called, with an ID of debug and I'm just going to print my messages there so you can see what's going on. I've also created this, this small log um, function where I can just pass in a string and it'll append uh, messages into this, this debug log. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to test if an, Im uh, uh, an image exists on a page. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's start off in Firebug. I've already loaded in uh, the latest version of jQuery. Okay, And to test if there are any images on the page, I do if dot length is greater than zero or not equal to zero. And no images found. Okay, so if you can I'll pull that out a little bit more so you can see it. Right, so you'll you'll see I've done dot length. So if I just show you what dollar image gives us when I run it. If I look at it in Firebug, I can see we've got this length property, and that's how we work out if there are any elements of that particular type. However, I can't do this. I can't do if not image because this actually resolves to true. It, it's because I'm not explicitly comparing it to to value. I mean, I could do, but that's going to be false as well. It's 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 basically an empty array, but it's 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 still got the jQuery. Um, functions on it. So if I do you know, search for an element called Remy, it gives me a ret uh, response with all of these functions on it, but with a length of zero. So that's why we need to check the length. Dot length. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's not equal to zero, or greater than zero, or whatever. So that's the that's the important thing. Dot length. That's the very very basics of finding whether or not an element exists. Now let me show you where you might have some problems, or you might be able to take it a little bit further. So I do the same thing. Log uh, if dollar image dot length. I can do a lot of that dot length because it kind of resolves to true or false. But I'm just going to say uh, it's not equal to zero. I.e., there are some. I'm going to do log we found an image else log we have not found any images okay so you're expecting this to occur let's get rid of that and nothing happens it's because the document's not ready at this point we haven't actually loaded this this DOM in, so I can either wrap it with document dot ready okay, or I can move this down to the bottom of the page. Down here, and because it loads at the end of the page, uh, the DOM is ready. Obviously, now we can take. Uh, I want to show you this the same thing. Let's change this to something found and nothing found. Greater than zero. Okay, 
So I can now change this to a different kind of selector. So I can use the um, this uh, um, like a custom selector that jQuery has that tell that searches for input elements, uh, text areas, and select elements and options. I think and it says nothing about. Them. So it's just it's on every single jQuery response where where the 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 return variable is jQuery. So I can do uh, body dot find p. Yeah. So if I show you that in Firebug, you can see object length equals two because we've got a p tag here. And where the heck's the other one? Oh, it's the uh, it's that. <clears throat> so one t. Yeah, object length t. We can see them, and there's the length. So now you know how to check if an object exists, or if uh, if there are any found. You can do it on any any function that returns jQuery. I could do it here. This has a length. Um, you know, dot append. Uh, dot HTML has a length. Dot CSS. As long as I'm still querying for j for for um, and returning the jQuery object, it always has a length. If I'm setting a value or querying a specific value. So if I did um, so if I did uh, dollar image dot atr source, that's obviously a string. I mean, it does have a length as well, but it's not it's not the length of elements. It's 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 returned a different ta data type. So that returns a jQuery element dot find p doesn't exist, but still returns a jQuery element. Okay, real simple, but the best way of finding out whether or not an element exists. Thanks for watching.